take that scare of me. As you can see, you know how to What are we doing? I'm gonna be removing this bolt right here. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. So what Gino's gonna be doing is uh, releasing this 12 mil. Damn, that wasn't that bad. Hey, wasn't your cat supposed to be here? Uh, no, that's for the EX model. This exhaust is for an EX. That's why it's, that's why they have to length, lengthen it. Uh, cause I know my cat's right here. Yeah, EX is uh, the cat's is right there. Mine's right there in the header. Cause it's VTEC. I mean, cause the VTEC. We mean. You'll be having VTEC soon. Which I would have had today. I know. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? You're too busy. Everything's in the way, right? Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. So that's so we're gonna be one. removing this bushing. So ooh, this is pretty. Dang, I sure already had a lot of play. So what I'm gonna try to do is that I'm gonna try to remove this pin out first, and then, and then the bushing. Yeah, see, yours is coming that out real quick. Ow, my fucking, mine took a lot of force, but yeah, yours came out real quick, pretty yeah, easy. This one, this one has so this one, yeah, this two hundred twenty thousand miles. This bushing is pretty busted compared to mine. No, okay. We're gonna lube up a lot of this before we even put it in. For her sake and yours. Yeah. Uh, we don't want you both to be crying later. Nah. Uh, maybe. That's what happens when she gets dry. You know what that means? When she gets dry? Uh. No idea. That she's not enjoying it anymore. I wait. Damn. <laughs> so yeah, that one just we just press that in and uh loop this one up now. And don't be shy to use a lot either. Exactly. There's a reason why they give you two fucking packets. Lube is your friend. Yup, in the real world and the car world. <laughs> Good thing this shit's not made for kids. Yeah. Usually the second one is always harder to put in. Oh, there you go. You heard that clamp. As you can see, now it's all the way in. So uh, Gina's gonna go ahead and loop up the inside now. Or we can put this pin in there and just twist it. That way everything could get looped up. Gino's an old school type of guy. He says, no gloves for me. Mm -hmm. take away all the feeling. Yeah, you sure do. So he went ahead, he's pressing it in with his hand. There you go. You're gonna have some excess loop coming out. There you go, and now, let's see how to press this in. Let's take some of this old grease out, or oil, whatever it is here. You can see his technique is quiet and subtle. This wasn't really blocking me. Ooh. Is it in gear? You know what? Let me check. Go mess with it right now. It's probably in gear. gear. Take it out, gear. There you go. I was like, <laughs> why is it so tough, man? <laughs> wow. All right, guys. So we're back. Uh, As you can see now. <laughs> Oh my god. After my first experience, I kind of know how to push in already. We're done. So what Gino's doing now is lifting the car from the back. To give us more room. So we're going to be removing uh, this bolt right here and then this bolt. 
Uh, this one's gonna be easier. This one's gonna be difficult because uh, his exhaust is in the way because it's not meant for this car, but yeah. we'll figure it out right now. Shouldn't be that hard. You gotta get that GoPro like that flashlight for the I was GoPro. gonna buy a full, but, but supposedly you have to buy you have to buy a special like a media case, like a, a media case that holds it that has a microphone that has the bracket for it, and it's like 80 bucks plus the fucking 50 bucks for the light. What the hell? That's a fuck that shit. Can't you just buy it like an Amazon? Nah, for well, I need to look more. Uh, I don't know. Either we're gonna need a, a shorty. Where's the parts we're working on? Oh, right there. That's where we see it. Yeah, see it. That shit sounds like a tin can. It is a tin can. See, that's why I don't want to use this car because I know you're going to be underneath it and just imagine it being freshly used, how hot that exhaust is going to be. Uh, usually these uh, tend, these exhausts cool down pretty quick. Really? Yeah. Fun fact. Because it's stainless steel, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, usually the exhaust, uh, these look like fresh new bolts, man. One more? That's it. Oh, it's only two? Oh, yeah, yeah you're right, two. Now we're gonna. The hard part's gonna be trying to remove this one with your exhaust in the way. Fucking exhaust. But luckily, the bushings. You know, it's like pretty rubberized, so. The hard part's gonna be putting it in with the exhaust in the way. There we go. I wait. So. This is the old one, which you can see there's I a lot of play in it. The other one, there's still play in it, but it's just not as much. And we're still going to be reusing these little pins or dowels, whatever you want to call this. All right. On the on the new ones. So let's go get that piece. Well, you learn a lot from your car for being underneath it. All right. So Gino, move these up. So you took out the pin, the old old dials, what the fuck pins? Dials, pins, whatever they're called. So you took them from the OEM ones. So you have to reuse the OEM ones then. Yeah, these are pretty easy to install. I'm just gonna slide that bad boy, and a whole bunch of it's gonna come right out. Ooh. You can just put it into the other side. And this one, like I said, don't be shy. There's plenty of it. There you go. And it it's in there. Don't be shy to put it inside here because you're going to need it inside here. Wiggle it in there. And now I'll try to figure out how am I going to put this in here because it's. Oh, right there. Fuck. So, guys, this fucking hanger was in our way because the exhaust is made for EX, not a DX. So, anyhow, the long story short. So Gino, the professional magician, was able to put it in. There you go. Hopefully you guys can see. So now he's going to go ahead and basically reverse what he did earlier. God damn you exhaust. Mm-hmm. Hatchbacks are two different lengths. Whoops. See, so that fucking swivel, they come in handy. Yep, I'm telling you, man. Didn't I tell you this swivel's a shit? And you have to say, you gotta say you're right. If it wasn't for you telling me to get it, I probably wouldn't have bought it. This shit fucking saves so much time sometimes, like. It's a game changer. And we're almost done. About five more minutes and we're done. Damn. So, so you wanna get the valve cover?
and we're done. Do you know the master? Ran into some obstacles right here, but he was over to overcome. So now basically we have a new, what do you call it, shifter bushing? It's a shifter linkage bushing. There you go. So From Energy Suspension. Yeah, shut up. All right, now the time just to, I guess, lower the car down and... Uh... All right, that'll be uh, 500 bucks. Damn, you take, you take fucking crypto? No. I... So yesterday, with the help of my boy Gino, uh, we basically replaced uh, the three uh, three springs in the transmission. I think they're called detent springs. And also, we did go ahead and uh, replaced the old bushings. Uh, the two in the shifter linkage. This is the smaller one, the one that goes in the front, and then the other ones in the back. Which basically is this one. We did use the little metal pieces for the OEM ones. This one's kind of really bendable rudder of a rubbery. This one wasn't that bad of a shape, but the other one was. It wasn't even uh, tight on the on the metal. So now, basically now. This feels stiff. It doesn't feel loosey goosey. Now, now it feels a lot better than what it did before. Um, I didn't think the bushes were gonna be that bad, but I guess I was wrong. But now, it feels more precise. I have to say. Uh, for a cheap upgrade, definitely worth it.